Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Connor, and today I'm going to be doing a book review for Armada by Ernest Klein. If you guys don't know, Ernest Klein is the author of Ready Player One, which I read. I don't know when that was, but I really, really enjoyed this one, so I was really excited when I heard that Armada was coming out. But unfortunately, a lot of people that I know and trust went into Armada and then hated it. <laughs> so I was very hesitant to go into this, but I wanted to give it a shot anyway, just because I really did enjoy Ready Player One so much that I wanted to make my own opinion of this. And I also knew going in how much of an homage to older science fiction this is. It pulls heavily on old science fiction movies, television shows, video games, novels, and mashes them all into this story. And so going in, I knew it was going to have a lot of those elements. So I wasn't blindsided when I jumped into this novel and it was so similar to those other things. If you guys don't know, this follows a high school senior called Zach Lightman. And ever since his father died when he was younger, he has felt a connection with the video games that his father had played back when he was younger. So Zach has really developed a strong love for science fiction stories in movies, TV shows, video games. And he especially plays this one game called Armada a lot. And Armada is basically a science fiction video game where aliens have discovered Earth and have decided to kill all the humans off and colonize Earth for themselves. There are theories that are going around in the world that these video games are the US looking for people that will be able to fight real life aliens. And so the top video game players are going to be the ones that will be recruited for this elite force against aliens. But not everyone thinks that, just small groups here and there that have conspiracy theories and everything like that. Obviously some of those things are gonna happen <laughs> because that's the whole point of this book. But as usual with my book reviews, I'm gonna go through my pros, go through my cons, give you my rating, and be done. Going through other people's reviews, I've seen a lot of people not being able to connect with the main character, Zach. They say for them, he really fell flat, and I think that one of my pros for this book is that I did read this book on audiobook, and the narrator does an amazing job of doing Zach's voice. I could completely picture how Zach looked like because of the way the narrator was performing Zach's voice. It sounded equal parts nerdy, geeky, intelligence, but also like a smart aleck and loves to give other people shit, that kind of person. I found him so funny and the narrator just made Zach even funnier. And so it allowed me to connect with Zach a lot quicker and I think that Maybe if you want to read Armada, reading the audiobook is the way to go. The audiobook may bridge that gap that people are having a hard time forming when they read the actual novel. For me, another pro for this book was that the characters had really realistic reactions to things. Anytime that something shocking would happen, they'd be like, what the hell? And then flip out a little bit and then move on. They didn't just accept it and go along with the plan. They had their questions, they had hesitancies. And I thought that the way that they went about reacting to things was very realistic for the characters in this book. The kids in this book curse all the time and that's definitely realistic with the like whole apocalyptic alien invasion vibe that's going on in this book. So I appreciated that he kept it real in that respect with the humans acting human. <laughs> Similar to my feelings in Ready Player One, I really liked the references that were in this book. The homage references at first were a bit much, but then I got into the story and I started really appreciating them, especially the ones that I'm very familiar with. It was so fun to pick out the elements from different stories and video games and movies that I've watched, played, and read, that it actually became pretty fun to pick out the elements and connect them to where they originally were. And that's something that happens in this book as well. The character is picking out certain things that are happening around him that are similar to video games and movies and TV shows that he's watched and played. And because I really enjoyed all those references, another pro was that it really made me want to go back and re-experience those things that I experienced a long time ago. Like I kind of want to reread Ender's Game, I kind of want to replay video games that I've played and watch the Star Wars movies and, and re-experience all of the things that are referenced in here because I just want to go back and see how they connect even more with this story. To keep this video really quick, those are all the pros that I'm going to talk about. If you have more, leave them down in the comments. But now let's talk about my cons. Because because this draws so heavily on those different things, at first I felt like this was just a straight up ripoff of a lot of those different stories. And although I knew it was going to be like that, I didn't realize the degree that it was going to be like that. And also because of that, this book is so predictable. I predicted everything that would happen within the first, I don't know, 20 pages or something like that. So it's not going to be something that shocks you or anything like that. You're going to know exactly what's happening throughout the entire thing. And so for me, that was a bit of a con because it could have been 
been really cool if he had taken all of these elements and then put them all on their head and shocked everyone. Didn't happen. <laughs> and because it was so predictable, my last con that I'm going to talk about is that the ending was so underwhelming. I was expecting so much more, as I said before. I was expecting some twist. I was expecting some type of new take on this same story. But it was definitely a bit disappointing. <laughs> and although it was a fun ride, at the end I was feeling like there could have just been a lot more. In the end, I ended up giving this book three and a half stars. So that is gonna be my super quick review on Armada by Ernest Klein. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you had any of those similar feelings about Armada. Do you have any other feelings about Armada that you'd like to share down in the comments? And if you have any other science fiction homage recommendations, leave those down in the comments as well and I will talk to you guys next time.